So in this module, we're going to be exploring the BC Treaty process. The BC Treaty process finds its, its genesis um, in the, the NISCA final agreement, which is an agreement in British Columbia where there are no treaties uh, between the federal government, the province, and the NISCA people. This um, ushered in, um, I think, an overly optimistic era where the BC Treaty process uh, proposed to create NISCA-like agreements with all of the First Nations in British Columbia. We can now see that the British Columbia Treaty process has been more or less a flaw. It hasn't been successful, it hasn't ratified too many treaties, yet its approach to treaty making is illustrative of the contemporary era that we're living in, um, which is more or less that Indigenous peoples are expected to surrender their rights and title to the Crown and have those unspecified rights turned into constitutionally protected rights under the Canadian government, under the Canadian Constitution, which brings Indigenous peoples into Canada as kind of this inferior third party. Um, we're going to be looking at some of, I think, the most important critiques of this process and articles that ultimately determined before the BC Treaty process was largely abandoned that this was an inevitability.